What's going on, man? It's good to see you. Did it hit that unmute button for me. Ah, uh, there you go. Oh, hey, shit, hey. sorry. Fucking hell. Good Technology. to see you. Good to see you, too. Hey, thanks for joining with me today. Great. Thank you for joining with me today. Hey, absolutely. <laughs> hey, look, I, I had a few questions okay. for you, obviously, because I'm, you know, like as you go through something and then things come up that you don't know are going right. to come up well, just sure. yet. And you, so that's kind of what I got. But look, I saw, I saw your video on how you organize your REI reply yeah. and how you do it. And you've got it really down pat. Like you've got a sexy setup. So how I saw that like your system, it tags a lead as hot. Yes. Sir. Um, how, how, like what, what constitutes a hot lead? Or how does the system recognize it? Because I can look at it and say, yeah. okay, that's a hot lead. But okay. the system, like, do, do you set a trigger for that? Yeah. I have a, a trigger that automatically, okay, yeah. I, have a, I have a replied stage. Mm -hmm. And then I have a, a hot stage. And then, I have okay. a, and then I have a call these stage. Okay. okay, gotcha. So what happens is anything that's not automatically thrown out, lands in the replied stage then okay. i have to manually sort okay and gotcha. i'll dr i'll drag what i think's good ones over to the hot pipeline okay gotcha and you when, do that every day right i do that every day when i do that when it uh -huh. when, when it lands in the hot <laughs> pipeline mm -hmm. the the system automatically knows to send that person a, another text message that says hey is this the owner is it for sale by owner and how much money do you think would be comfortable for you if we rented 24 months before we bought? Should we talk? Okay, so there's a, some pre-qualification message that okay. goes out there. Okay. So the hot is just a pre-qualification kind of thing. Right. All okay. right, cool. Cool. Now, <laughs> I'll have to sort that again later too because I'll still get negatory answers in the hot responses as I'm pre-qualifying people. I'll go through there and I'll see, oh, well, this person says that, you know, they're not really interested. They'd really prefer cash and blah, blah. Okay. So I'll just go ahead and throw that away. So I have to do yeah, some okay. sorting there anyway. But to answer the question, I do have triggers okay. where, where if someone that responds to my initial outbound message, my first yep. text message, would you lease and then sell? When they say yes, sure, yeah, maybe, possibly, we could do that. Okay. Call me any uh -huh. of those, any of those hot trigger <laughs> positive words, mm -hmm. those automatically go into the hot pipeline. I don't need, oh, okay. I don't have to sort those and put them into the pre-qualification pipeline, the hot pipeline myself. They'll boom automatically go in there. Cool. Cool. And, and then they'll get that immediately. They'll get that pre-qualification mm -hmm. text message. Okay. So hopefully by the end of that little process there, I've sorted enough that I've got three or four people that I can put in the call these today line. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. All right. Awesome. Well, that yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. hundred. It does. hundred okay. percent because it's difficult to, so what, what happened was I fucked up and I said it to, I, I got the weekly Zillow scrapes from about 13 different States. So I've got all these like 5,000 leads and, up, yeah. like put them all in there but i screwed up the uh adding it to a campaign so i literally sent out like four thousand messages at once <laughs> so i've got did it block so, it though because no i don't know how it didn't block it i wow. spent i spent about like a hundred bucks Jesus. on text messages wow <laughs> yeah, so I like, you got a bunch of some, like yeah. responses too i got all types of stuff like dick pics like all types of shit yeah <laughs> So that's great i'm like it's just it was so funny um the wife was like what's going on but like right, um right. <laughs> but i so i've got all these inbound messages and i'm thinking holy shit and i don't even it was just overload right so that's why i asked so i'm trying to i'm going to set up a trigger like those like what you just said to have a yeah. hot section and all that kind of stuff so well, you can do a trigger a or a workflow either way <clears throat> so you, right. can, you can set up a trigger that will any anytime somebody responds to that work you know your initial outbound that yep. that they if they say a positive word but i'll i'll tell you what i've learned is is that 
it's easier really to, to set up a workflow for it. Okay. And, and the, the initial, the initial trigger for the workflow will be, uh, when a customer replies. Okay. Okay. And it, then it you get, gives you options. It's like, well, you can say negative things. Okay. Then, and then you can add words and all. So okay. it's, it's really pretty easy mm -hmm. to do once you get in there and start playing around with it. And then cool. you can go in there and add words as you, as you kind of learn more as you're using the gotcha. machine. You're like, oh, I want to go back and add that word. Boom. Easy. Done now. Gotcha. And it just sets up another trigger in the workflow type thing. Yeah. Yeah. You can do it in the workflows or you can do it in the triggers. Either way. Gotcha. I prefer the workflows. Yeah. I'm thinking of workflow too. Yeah. Okay, cool. 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 Um, so look, that totally answers my question. Thank you very much. Great dude. <clears throat> Um, look, my other thing was, so, say so I've got like, um, leads from say like, uh, Oklahoma, then I've got ones from, um, uh, like, like Missouri. Right. Yeah. But it's all kind of in that one, um, in that big list I pulled with like 13 states and I'm getting updated Zillow scrapes every week. Um, my question was, do you, do you separate them in our reply? So do you kind of say, okay, I'm, I'm going to, um, get all the leads from this state and then do this state this week and then this state next week, just so I know, no. you know, um, Not what really. properties from where. Yeah. Because I'm looking like, yeah. you know, there might be one, two, three Smith street, but there might be 47,000 of them. Right. And I've got about 20,000 of them. You know what I mean? Just in my list from different states, like one might be in Kentucky, one might be in right. you know Oklahoma or whatever. So, I'm just kind of thinking if you had a hack for doing that, it's really not a biggie. Um, yeah, you, you can, but what happens when you do the, ec the extract every week is it, it yeah. all comes on one big giant spreadsheet. If you do it the way that I, I advise to do it. And so like, that's what I get is I get a, like this week I got one that had 6,500 on it. Okay. I don't even need 6,500. So I just went in <laughs> and I just copied it, you know, and pasted, the first thousand and, and they're oh, gotcha. from, they're from random fucking, like, I don't know where, yeah, all, okay. you know, I, and, okay. but I really don't care. Cause. Okay. Uh, data's data to me really. Yeah. Know? Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. 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 Well, that, that makes sense. Um, uh, and then, uh, I'm pr buddy, I'm pretty sure that's all I've, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all I've got at the moment. Cool. Um, you know, I do have, I do have one deal that's, a, oh, sorry, I do have another question. I've got one sure. deal that's about to close, uh, not close, but we're putting the tenant buyer in, but right. what's your recommend, what's your recommendation? Look, the guy, the guy gets a tax credit, uh, not a credit, he gets a tax refund of about 30 grand. Um, can't, and that's not till the middle of March is where it lands in his account typically. So we're kind of relying on that for the down payment. Do you... Look, I've asked you this before, but in this particular case, their house is in, um, uh, it's in Missouri. It's about an $850,000 house. So it's a pretty pricey place. And we're asking 30K for the down payment, 20K for the seller and 10 grand for Connor. So do you, um, do you do promissory notes or anything like that? Like, yeah. do you record an, like, can you, is that okay to do? Yeah. If you okay. look on, yeah. I mean, if you look on my I, I saw contract package, it's in there. Yeah. yeah, so I can do that and just add it because like the, the owner's fine with it. Um, we don't have anyone else, to be honest. That's kind of why we're doing it. And this guy yeah. is obsessed with the place. Yeah. So I kind of think, well, look, if we if we do that um, and then I was kind of thinking if I keep the tenant paperwork and the option paperwork, two separate things, that way if he doesn't pay, well, we can kick him out. Yeah. Well, you know. that's all possible, man. Um, you know, there's really a whole school of thought on this entire question. It's a great, yep. it's a great question. I think right. you're right on track with it and you're doing what I would do. All right. But if you really, really want to go full legal, yep. what you would do is, is you would get the promissory note mm -hmm. and the payment plan, like, like what I have attached to the assignment agreement. Okay. Okay. And then you would also have this closed since it's such a large property, have, have the seller or the, or the tenant buyer, whichever one agree to pay, either pay their own or, or the, the tenant buyer pays for all of it. It's just going to be a few hundred dollars, but have a, a title company here in right. Missouri actually okay. do a closing for the lease option. 
Okay. And at the same time, record a notice of option at the county courthouse. Okay. Okay. What that will do is cloud the title. Cool. Cool. So that this yep. guy can't buy the property without making sure you got paid. Okay. Gotcha. Cause we, cause that means I'm lien holder, right? You'll be, you'll be a, not a lien, but you'll be a cloud that has to be cleared before gotcha. the house can transfer ownership. So if he wants to move out, Hey, it's, it's over. Okay. Okay. You're never getting the money. If he wants to buy the house and he hasn't paid you yet, the title company at the time when he wants to go buy the house will say, well, wait a minute, there's this guy named Connor and a cloud on mm -hmm. the title. You owe him 25 grand or whatever it was. Yeah. Um, this has to be cleared up with the closing or before, but how is, how do we clear this title? And then Connor has to say, hmm, how am I going to get my money? That's right. Right. Gotcha. Right. Okay. Right. So, you know, that makes sense. Um, that's the full legal, you know. Gotcha. Is that what you would do? You know, I wouldn't do all that, you know, because yeah, that's just I, a lot, dude. You know, I mean, I'm I'm in Georgia, so I'm kind of like, all right, then I'm gonna yeah. go to the courthouse and you get a dumbass like dead shit on the phone, that, you know. Yeah, I I, I just want to, you know, I'm. I'm you just want to give want, me the full option. How much money does the guy have now? Great. Can you make a little payment every month and then in March pay it off? Great. I'll take your word for it in a sense, you know. Hopefully, gotcha. hopefully you're straight arrow. Gotcha. You know, <laughs> true. Plus, I mean, you know, you got the details. I mean, I guess you could really yeah. fuck their life in some way, I guess. But I mean, mm -hmm. I'm not about that. I'm just more so thinking, look, how do we get paid? That's all yeah. I care about. Yeah. As long as everyone's happy. Yeah. Well, you know, like short and sweet. There's no way to guarantee that he'll pay. That's, you know, he could refuse to pay and then move in eight months or three months or move right. the next month. You know, it's okay. there's no way to control all of but what you can control is is either he pays or when he try if he still tries to buy the house you can you can enforce it if you've got that yeah. note if you've got if you've done that legal stuff gotcha okay cool yeah. all right well that that makes sense and buddy my final question is how how do you accept payment so someone's someone puts like if you're making 10 grand yeah. for example but this the the own like the seller needs um needs five right for a security deposit so yeah. the guy the, the tenant buyer is coming in with 15. Yeah. how do you orchestrate that are you kind of saying mr tenant buyer you cut me a check for the 10 to my personal account and then you cut a five to this guy like yeah bingo is yeah. that how you're doing it or are exactly you kind of saying, wire transfers right, yeah wire you just transfer. do wire transfers and yes, you, just, you just give them all your details like like literally like for example i'm bank of america would i literally text him bank um ACH <laughs> and then like all the yeah. stuff well you, as simple as that yeah you know you call the bank and you ask them you ask the teller gal you say hey listen you know i want to receive a wire transfer from someone is my account ready for that and can you fill me in on what i can share with them as far as wire instructions go that is the safe and secure thing instead of just me I handing gotcha. out you know because i i don't really want to necessarily just be handing out my bank account information to everybody in the world so can you give me give me some uh, some advice here on cool. you know a lot of times they have a, a way to give you information where the bank itself will receive the wire transfer not your account okay and then from that they'll receive it and then it'll say Connor Smith on it and then they'll put it in yep. your account okay oh sweet okay yeah. cool so it oh, kind of, they'll play a middleman for you in other words awesome that's yeah. what I was asking because yeah. yeah. That makes sense. All right, man. Look, that's that's all the questions I had for you. By the way, love the course. Super easy. Easiest one I've ever had. Thanks, man. Um, so for what it's worth, it's fucking really helpful. <laughs> like Appreciate I know it, bro. there's a lot of making a lot of money out of it, like because of the shit you've taught them and it's Great. it's so simple. Great. Thanks, man. I so appreciate it. Appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. You mind if well, I buddy, I'll let you mind you. if I cut some clips here and use it as a testimonial? Sure. Yeah, for sure. hundred percent. Next video call we get on, I can record a little so and so for you and yeah. we'll, hey, we'll thanks, just slip man. it in there. Yeah. Yeah, just yeah, just something right down. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Let Fucking me know hell. if I can help, Connor. Have a good one. Will do. Thanks, right, buddy. Bye -bye. See you, Justin. All right, bye.